Talks. Then when you finished, you simply... Oh, now look what you've done, you broke it. I'm afraid it's a bit slippery where I've been sucking it, began Paddington. <laughs> As a reward, I would like to place my car in your ear. No! There was so much snow that his reindeer stuck him down. How would you like to help me? But of course the snowmen didn't answer because snowmen can't talk, can they? Oh boy. Mr. Snow gave Father Christmas an enormous push. It was Christmas, right? We feel so full. Oh, I'm so full. You have room for a muffin? No. Look at that, exclaimed Thomas's fireman. Terence said goodbye to Mrs. Kindly and promised to take care from behind Three cheers for Mrs. Kindly, he called. No, you're right, mate. It's will, will, will. It's very cold. Driver says there's more snow on the way. No, he didn't, you fucking liar. Suddenly, his snow plow hit the rock. And you are special. But it wasn't my fault. It's till it fell. But the fat controller wasn't cross. He was very cross. How does it work? Well, it's a time machine, you idiot. Now, why don't you be good elves and go out there and do it? <laughs> Says who? Says me. Do one. Well, what about us? Do you know something? I really don't care. <laughs> now for a nice relaxing bath. You've been not telling anybody this. The time is three o'clock in the morning. It is not three o'clock. We'll soon have you coming. Hi. <laughs> well, there's no one looking. Thank you, Sam. Oh, and mind you don't slip now. Oh. Happy Christmas, Ponty Pants. Shut that door. 